Hey, how's everybody doing out there? This is John Register with you. Once again, your Thursday inspired thought. I'm here with the lovely, the beautiful, the phenomenal Amy Purdy. We're out here in Breckenridge, Colorado. Thanks for, for doing this with, with us today. Thank you so much. She's our inspirational thought for today. And so I got some questions I want to ask her because she's going to be one of our rock stars over in Sochi, Russia. So Amy, you lose your legs back in, in night, at, at age 19. Mm -hmm. Must be, you know, pretty devastating. But what made you determine that you were not going to settle into that temporary setback? Gosh, I, I just remember feeling like the same person. Like I'm still Amy. I'm still the same person. I still have the same dreams and aspirations. And I just, um, I, I was passionate about snowboarding. And, right. and that kept me moving forward. Instead of looking back and saying, why me? Or why did this happen to me? Or I lost my legs. I mean, I did think of, I lost my legs now, what? But I also knew I love to snowboard. And um, and I'm going to figure out a way to do that, and that kept me moving forward. Uh, uh, so as an avid snowboarder, and you just lose your limbs, how was it? How did you get back into your passion? What what was it that that, that determined you to get back into your passion? I mean, I, I found my passion. Luckily, when I was in high school, I knew that I wanted to travel the world and live in a place where it snowed and have all these stories and adventures to tell. And um, and I, I, I didn't want that to end. I was 19 and I had another 20 years of snowboarding left in me at least. Right. And I just wanted to continue to follow my dreams and my passion and it never went away even though I lost my legs. You know, I never lost my passion. And um, it, if anything, it just made me more determined to figure out how to do it. Mm. You, you say on, on, your, on, your, uh, on your TEDx talk, which was great, you know, um, life is not determined by what happens to us by, but by the choices we make. And you chose to help others. So tell us about the organization that you started. I did. So, um, so yeah, I started an organization in 2005 with my boyfriend, Daniel Gale. And it's called Adaptive Action Sports. And we get youth, young adults, wounded vets, uh, people with physical disabilities um, into action sports, like snowboarding, skateboarding. We've done rally cross. We've done motocross. Um, but our main focus has been snowboarding. And when I lost my legs, there was zero resources for somebody like myself who wanted to snowboard. Um, there was a lot of resources for skiing, but nothing for snowboarding. And so um, once I figured out a way to do it myself, I wanted to help other people as well and just kind of share my love of the sport with other people, help the community grow. And um, and and now we're going to Sochi. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. And so in, in Sochi, I mean, it's, it's the first time it's on the program uh, yeah. for, for the Paralympic Games, which is crazy great. Yeah. Right? Um, so what do you think now of your number one your chances and yeah. you know what do you think about you know that being added to the program? God, it's so exciting, obviously, um, and just to know that it's also airing on NBC for the first right, time ever. Yeah. So it, it's just really exciting to be able to show our sport to the world and hopefully inspire other people to get involved in it as well. Other people with disabilities that that's an op an option and an opportunity for them. Um, as far as chances go, I mean, you just never know. We never know. Everybody's training really hard. Our whole U.S. team's training really hard. Um, the girls are getting really good, but I'm also getting better as well. So we're all just kind of stepping up our game, and, um, and it's going to be a show for sure. Yeah. I can say that. So. And all y'all get to see it on NBC, about 51 hours worth of yeah. Paralympic athletes, amazing, incredible athletes. So, Amy, you're a rock star. Thank also you. a great inspiration. We know, know that inspiration leads to motivation, causes action, leads to results, right? You've heard that say, me say that so many times before. <laughs> so Amy's inspiration, and we say to you, you, you go, go forth, forth and inspire, inspire your world. world.